Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to do another Angular JS tutorial on HTTP requests. So to get started, I have this HTML document here where I added the mo main module here with the main controller. And then I import Angular library here, the Angular route library, which we shouldn't need for this one, and then just an external script. So let's go to the script tag where I create the main module and the main controller. And in the main controller, let's pass in HTTP, the service. So this is available in the main Angular library, and you don't have to import any other external libraries for this. So for this tutorial, since Angular, or since Google Chrome doesn't support cross-origin requests on local files, we're gonna have to use uh, Firefox. So I have this external data.json um, file, where I have just some simple weather data uh, there is it's an array of objects with the day, the name of the day, a description of the weather that day, and the temperature. So in the main controller, let's use the HTTP service here and make a get request to get that data, and then we can display it on in a table on the main index.html page. So let's go ahead and just make sure we don't get any errors when we run this. So if we refresh, if we go into that file, uh, we've got to run it in Firefox. So we do open with and then Firefox. We don't get any errors and it looks good. The file is found. So the console, no errors. So let's go back and make http.get request. So this is going to be to the data.json file. So HTTP um, service has multiple functions you can use with it. We do dot get dot post. In this case, we're going to do dot get a get request to get a file. And the first parameter is the name of the file, the URL. So it's going to be data.json. And then you could chain on a callback function. So once this is done, it, the http.get function returns a promise. So you can say dot then. And you pass in an anonymous function with that gets the response. So HTTP.get, we want to get the data.json file, dot then, we pass in an anonymous function that's going to call once the promise is complete. And we can just say console.log response. Make sure this works for now. So we go to Firefox, refresh. We can see there's an object here that's getting with data. So all HTTP requests return this object with other things that we don't really need, such as like the headers, the status, um, configuration. I mean, they're useful in some cases, but in this case we're, we're trying to do a simple um, get request. So we could just say um, we say let data equals response that data. And we say console.log data. So the object that's returned has a key called data. And that's where all the data that we we're looking for is. So we just say data equals response that data. So let's refresh. See what the data looks like. So we have the object with the key weather, and that's an array of all these objects for the weather for the next week. So let's go back and we add this to the scope. So let's inject the scope to the main controller just by adding the parameter to the function. And then once the, this uh, get request is called, we'll say scope.data equals response.data. And then we don't really need this extra local variable here, so we can get rid of that. And then just in case there's an error, we say dot catch, pass in a function, which takes an error parameter, and we say console dot error error. So in case this can't find the file or there's an error getting it, well it will throw it'll throw an error, and this will catch it, and then it'll print this to the developer console. So Let's save this, and then let's go into the index.html file. Okay, so here we have the main module here on the HTML tag and a main controller, which has scope to the entire document here. So let's go ahead and add a table here, which is going to display our data. Let's add a border one, just to make it look a little nicer. Let's add a head, and we'll say day, temperature, and description. And let's add a body to the table. And let's add a row. 
So this is going to be the template for the loop that we're going to do. So ng repeat. And for each row in the data, um, and in, in fact the data is in, it's not in response to data. We want response to data dot weather. Because in the data JSON, we're going to, it's going to be re returning this whole thing. So we want the array of weather data. So we could say response at data dot weather, and, and that will get this array. So response at data dot weather here. And then when we loop through this, we'll say day in data. And then we want to print out day dot day. I'll just copy this one. Let's see what we called it. So day description attempt. So temp and then description. Okay, so this sh should be we should be all set now. So we just add a title, maybe say weather data. So now if we go to Firefox, refresh the page, we should see that's loading all the data from that external file, and then printing it out in the table here. So it's just a simple example of, for example, doing like a REST API call. So if you have a server that returns data from a database, you can make a call the same way we did here. But instead of calling data.json, you just replace this with um, like the Ajax page or um, whatever the endpoint is of the server. So thanks, guys, for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And thanks.